All of the eight planets are completely different, but, but Uranus is especially different because Uranus rolls on its orbit rather than spins, which is completely counterintuitive. So you have the whole solar system that rotates in the same direction, and then you have all of the planets, uh, you have one exception rotating in the other, but Uranus is just the, the odd one out. And I just like how, how in physics everything is governed and, and you think you can describe everything and then there comes one planet which tells you that you have to come up with, with new ideas and understand how these things work. Gases, planets, uh, they don't have surfaces as we know them from, from the terrestrial planets. So you have gas and these, these um, planets, they are so heavy that they actually can keep these huge gaseous envelopes. But because they are so heavy, the attraction is so big that you uh, would fall down and it would just keep getting denser, denser and denser until you crushed. By, by the gas. You, there's, no, there's no solid surface where you can stand on these planets. And then you have other, other things that you don't know from terrestrial planets. So you have gaseous hydrogen and helium, and then that turns liquid and then metallic. So we have completely different states of matter in these um, planets due to their massive uh, masses. So we are definitely not places where one could uh, live, at least survive. Not life as we know it. It would need to be some completely different form of life that would um, be able to survive there.